Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sumit, Microsoft MVP and Fast Track Recognized Solution Architect. So in this episode, we will be talking about custom pages for multiple app. So with custom pages for multiple app, we can have the power of Canvas app kind of mixed into the model driven app scenario uh, so that the design description that we used to have with model driven app won't be there anymore so let's figure out how we can embrace the power of canvas app with the model driven app <music> So the first thing that we do is create a new solution and let's call this solution custom demo case. Custom demo solution or custom piece demo solution. Here we go. We can have a new publisher. I'll just use a, a CDS default publisher. You can create a new publisher if you want. So here's my solution. Okay, this is my solution. Now I get inside it and I create a new can uh, model driven app. And we have two options: uh, modern app designer or the classic uh, app designer. So uh, to use custom uh, pages, we need to use model modern app designer. So I'm selecting this and I'm creating a new model driven app. D A model driven app. Now here I create. So uh, over here, now you can create pages. So either you can create, uh, there are different types of pages that you can create. You can create a table-based view of form, dashboard, or custom preview. Uh, let's just to show you how it uh, shows up. Uh, I'll create table-based view form. Uh, then I can just show you the, uh, the custom page. So I'm adding this. And I'll add another page, which is uh, the custom one. And I can either create a new one or use an existing one. I'll just create a new one. You can name it as whatever you want, depending on uh, what page you want to create. So I'm adding a new one. While this is going on, uh, let's just come here. And this also gives you the site mapping that uh, the classic model driven app editor used to give uh, from here so you have area groups of areas uh, so this is something that you can use and uh, to create this uh, model driven app now i come back here and you have a, a canvas app studio to create the app so now i'll just uh, put a gallery This is show you how it actually works. So I'll use contacts. So this is my contact gallery and okay. So I have a record here. I'll just put a button. So maybe give it some color. Okay, this should be good enough. I'm publishing it, save. Okay, the page has been saved. Uh, come back here and publish. Publish this version. So let's come back here. So the page uh, and the contacts both are created. Uh, now, uh, you can expect this to happen. Uh, usually you have to save it and publish it and just refresh it and it starts to work. So let's just do that. So I've saved it. Uh, I can just directly pay, I guess, which published as well. So let's wait for a while while this is happening. Uh, I just had a recently podcast with Mark Smith in his MVP show. Uh, you can also find out my journey about Power Platform and my journey towards Microsoft Solution Architect. Uh, so you can find the link in the description. So please check that out. Now I'll just play it. So this is the 
traditional table view form uh, and this is the custom page that we have created and that's how you can uh, create a custom page so in the next video i will be talking about how we can edit this command bar previously it used to be done using ribbon workbench but now they have uh, kept this as an inbuilt feature uh, in this uh, custom page you can do all kind of responsive stuff and for that you can check out my video on containers the link is there in the description with uh, with the custom page in the model driven app now the possibilities of what we can do within a model driven app has also increased so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification for more updates thank you so much